Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Gary. And I'm Steve, and today we are going to talk about private browsing. Private browsing lets you surf the internet and not leave a trail. So for example, let's say you're uh, doing some online shopping for your spouse or maybe going to uh, some site that you don't want your spouse to know you're going to. We're not here to judge, you know, whatever you're doing, but you don't want your browser to record the history of where you went. Well, there's a quick trick that we know that we can, uh, we can show you today. And luckily, it works for Internet Explorer and for Firefox, and so we're going to show you both methods. Let's take a look at the computer. Okay, to get started in private browsing, um, we're going to go through both of the both browsers, Firefox and Internet Explorer. I'm going to start out with Internet Explorer, so we'll go ahead and open that up. And you'll notice here that it first starts out just opening normally. You don't have anything up here in the corner. That's where you want to keep your eye out. Now, to start private browsing, there's two different ways to do it. One, you can press Control, Shift, and P. And what that will do is open another window that says in private here for the private browsing. Now, keep in mind, the previous window, the one that was open in the background, is not private. So you don't want to use that one if you're intending to use private browsing. But this window is. You can uh, open another tab. It will also remain private. Any of these windows here that you use will, will remain in the private browsing. Um, another way, I will go ahead and close this. Another way to launch private browsing in Internet Explorer is to simply go over here and click on the safety button and then you can click on in private browsing and it'll go ahead and do the same thing open up another box now to stop private browsing internet explorer all you do is just close the window and, and then you're done the next time you open internet explorer it'll open up normally um, let's go ahead and move over to firefox uh, we can open up firefox and uh, you'll notice it's uh, normal here also um, the same way as in internet explorer we can press control shift p and it'll ask you, would you like to start private browsing? We can go ahead and hit start private browsing. Now, different. this is different than Internet Explorer because Firefox will actually change everything you do on Firefox over to private browsing. You'll notice the little mask here. When we, uh, you know, you can uh, go through this stuff here and, and you'll remain in private browsing because it says right up here at the top that you're in private browsing. Um, to turn it off, because you can turn it off in Firefox. You, uh, you can't turn it off in Internet Explorer. You just have to close the window. But in Firefox, you can. You can go to Tools, and you can hit Stop Private Browsing, and it'll bring you right back. If you want to start private browsing without pressing Control shift p also in Firefox, you can just go to Tools and click on Start Private Browsing, and you'll be right to the same spot. And uh, that's really all there is to it. There you go. Now you know how to uh, surf the Internet without leaving a trail. So uh, next time you're someplace that you don't want anyone to know where you were, then, uh, you know, use that little keyboard shortcut we just showed you. Yep, and as always, if you're watching this web this uh, video on YouTube, stop by our website. It's www.worldstart.com. We have a great computer tips newsletter you can sign up for right on the website there. Also, if you have a question for us, stop by worldstart.com slash ask and uh, ask your question. We'll be happy to answer it and maybe even on these videos. Thanks. Have a great day.